Hi guys, I'm back again with another video and today's video question answer is is the iPad a good tablet to use to draw and publish your webtoon online? And the quick answer to that is yeah. I mean, you can do everything. All this is Metabong. Let me just I should have had this set up. Hold on. This is the free version, so of course you're going to see apps. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh. Alrighty, so this is a free version of Metabong that I use. And you can just create your whole entire comic all on here. Let me just make sure I got the comic template clicked right here. And then, oops, click done. Alrighty, so that's how you go about doing that. But you can set up your whole entire comic page within Metabong. And then when you're done drawing it, they have a lots of, a lots. <laughs> they have lots of different features. They have the panels. They have the text right there. You can also edit the text. Where is it at? Well, I should probably add the text. Anyways, <laughs> they have everything that you need. They also have materials as well that you can use. So that you can just, no searching. And you can also download it from there. Download different tutorials. Tutorials? Download different materials from their cloud as well, which is really cool. So anyways, after you're done, stop trying to add text. So after you draw, after you have drawn your webtoon or comic on the iPad, you can actually upload it also on the iPad. So let me go ahead and show you how I mobilely upload a webtoon on the iPad. <laughs> Hold on. Alrighty, so here's Webtoon's site on the mobile. On the on on <laughs> Wow, I'm tired. Here's how Webtoon's website will look if you are on a mobile device. And as you can see there's no publish there's no publish button. So what you're actually gonna wanna do is let me see if I can just zoom in. Boom. You're going to want to click that and then you're going to want to click this. You're going to want to request the desktop version. And that way, now you are able to publish, click publish and upload. Well, you have to log in, of course. But you're able to click publish and upload your stories that way. So let me go ahead and log in and show you. Alrighty, so after you have clicked the view desktop option, you're just wanna, going to want to hit publish. And we'll just go ahead and do a mock-up. Here's my webtoon. And we'll just pretend I did not click that correctly. Click the add episode. My finger is fat. There we go. So you want to click add episode. And then you can do your select file upload. And then upload all of your... Upload your comic that way. So it's really simplistic. Pretty easy. So you can definitely do all of this from your iPad. You can't even see it. It's so dark in here. Let me set this on the floor. So you can definitely, you still can't see it. It's here. The iPad's here. It's just dark. But you can definitely do all, you can definitely create your whole entire webtoon and publish it all from your iPad. So if you're not able to afford a graphic tablet or a display tablet and you can only afford a touchscreen tablet or an iPad, don't worry. Don't let that stop you. You can still publish and create. So I hope that answers your question. I hope that helps. Okay, it's getting dark. Bye.